Today, my husband and I are gonna show you how to make bean hole beans. Are the type of beans we're using yellow eye beans and we do soak the beans overnight and wash them and clean them thoroughly before we uh, start cooking with them but first we are going to build the fire in the hole in the ground so I'm just getting some wood and you'll see that I'm a little leery about getting around the uh, Bilko doors because I actually went to open up these doors the other day and there was a snake in there. So yeah, I'm going to be very careful from now on when I go anywhere near these doors because snakes frighten me to death. My husband is just now throwing up some wood and I'm going to put it in the wheelbarrow and we're going to bring it over to the bean hole and get a fire started. Before I get too far into the video, I do want to say welcome to my channel. I'm Julie, keeper of my home. I like to create cleaning videos, organizing, cooking, decorating, makeover videos, all things home. If this is the kind of content you love, please consider subscribing below. This is our bean hole. We cover it with metal just so that nothing gets inside this hole and it doesn't fill up with rain every time it rains. Uh, you'll see that I'm moving that shovel around the grass around the hole. Yeah, I'm still looking for snakes. I am going to be frightened for a long time. How long have you been making bean hole beans? 50 some years. Did you help your dad make them? We all chipped in, yes. We all did a little bit of everything, lugging the wood, building the fire. Did your mom do the beans and mom then your dad the beans just... beans and we did the cooking. <clears throat> So did your dad grow up with bean whole beans as well? Is it something his parents did? I'm not sure of that. It was a pretty windy day, so getting this fire started was a little bit of a challenge, but he did get it started. Just listen to the sound. I love it. It's been really dry here. We haven't had a lot of rain and the grass is especially dry. So we wanted to make sure that we were taking all precautions. So I had the watering can full of water and I just kept watering every once in a while around the um, area that the fire was burning. Just kept the grass wet. Uh, we didn't want this to get out of control. We didn't let the fire get too big. We let it, you know, just kind of burn a little on the low side and uh, just kept an eye on it. One thing my husband and I both love 
is the smell of an outdoor fire. Oh my gosh, this wood fire smelled so wonderful. It was just like you were transported back in time. It was just heavenly. That's a smell we both just really enjoy. This is the most unenjoyable part for me. It's where you do a lot of sitting and waiting because this fire has to burn a lot for a really long time. <laughs> About two or three hours, actually. Um, you want to fill the hole with coals, like all the way up to pretty much to the top, maybe a little bit lower, but you want a lot of coals. And the more coals you have, the better, because that is what's going to cook the beans. So it was my job to sit and be the fire monitor while my husband was inside getting beans ready. The best part of having to sit here and watch this fire was that I could get caught up on my YouTube videos that I haven't been watching. I follow a lot of great YouTubers out there and I was enjoying being able to catch up on the videos that I hadn't seen yet. The first thing my husband always puts in the pot are onions. So he's just roughly slicing up some onions uh, in big chunks and he's going to put those in the very bottom. Along with the onions, he's adding a couple of smoked ham hocks. These are going to give the beans some really great flavor. Once the beans have soaked overnight, the next day my husband always parboils them for about 20 minutes before he adds them to the bean pot. Did your mom put all of this in her beans? No, uh, she didn't put ham hock, she just chewed. And we're also going to add some other stuff into our beans. We're putting some sausage, cooked sausage, Italian sausage, hamburger and onions. And they're going to be good. So this is the hamburger and the sausage and the onions and it's all been pre-cooked. I use the water that I boil the beans in. I parboil them in. How much water do you put in? I put enough to cover them, probably an inch or so over the top. This is our molasses, maple syrup, dry, uh, dry yellow mustard, onion and garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Is there any brown sugar in this? And brown sugar, excuse me, yes. also add some salt pork. We keep ours in the freezer so this is a little bit frozen. So my husband is just slicing this and then he's going to slice those little pieces just down almost to the center. I'm not sure why he does this. I asked him but he couldn't really answer. He said it's the way his mother always did it. Now he's placing the salt pork on the very top. That's the very last ingredient we add to the beans. We're
were just about ready to put them in the hole for cooking. We always add a little bit more water when we're cooking bean hole beans because the fire is so hot and that water will evaporate right up and we don't want our beans to dry out. Now they're all ready, we're going to put the lid on and take them out to the fire. Now my husband is removing the hot coals from the bean hole. These hot coals are what is going to cook the beans. They're nice and toasty. The bean hole has been lined with flat rocks. We've used this hole so many times. Once you burn the fire down and you form all of these coals, we're going to put the bean pot down in there. Those rocks heat up from the heat of the fire and all the, the coals, so it acts like an oven. Once the pot has been put into the bean hole, the coals are going to go back in as well. My husband is just making sure that these coals get distributed all around the bean pot really well. So does the dirt on the top act as an insulator? Oh yeah, keeps your heat in. And the coals just do the job of cooking the beans. The rocks and the coals that are left in there. And we lined this hole beforehand. Flat rocks. Flat rocks, and they're going to hold all that heat. Just in case it rains tonight. So how long do these have to stay in the ground? We put them in overnight and dig them up the next morning. So we're on the next morning. Don't forget that handle is sticking right up there. We did end up putting a layer of aluminum foil over the top of the beans, just under the lid, just to make sure that no ashes or coals got into the beans. They look amazing, don't they? I wish you could smell them. The ham hocks, and the sausage, and the hamburger, and the onions. Salt pork. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what we have. We have some bean hole beans, potato salad, some ribs, and homemade focaccia bread. This is going to be a delicious meal.
Now for the good part. They're cooked perfectly. They taste great. They've got a really nice smoky flavor and everything my husband added to them just adds to the flavor of the beans. I mean, it just really good texture and oh, they're so good. You need to try these. If you've never made bean whole beans before, I hope you do try them. They take, it's a little bit of labor when you have to, you know, dig the hole and everything you have to do, but, and, and it's a little bit of a wait because, you know, they are cooking overnight and you don't dig them up until the next day. So you want to plan this on a weekend where you are not rushed for anything to do or you don't have anything else you're doing. Um, because you are going to have to um, give this a little bit of time and attention, but I promise you it is so worth it. These, these are so good. And all the other sides that my husband has to go along, he made the potato salad, he smoked the ribs on our, um, on our smoker, and I made the focaccia bread. I mean, everything is just, I wish you could just smell this because it smells so good. This is going to be one delicious meal. I hope I can finish it all. If you enjoyed today's video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you've never tried bean whole beans, you need to try them. If you have any questions or you're wondering about anything, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you need to know. And until next time.